Welcome to another Monday yap. Uh, I think I think I might have lied to you guys a little bit, or maybe I really lied to myself. I think so. My last convention or my artist alley was about a month ago, and I said by my next show, which is in two weeks, I said that I would have all new art, a whole new display, and like new merch and stuff like that. Just new things. Everything was gonna be new, better. I was gonna recalibrate, rethink rework everything and just come back better and stronger and cooler i guess i'm gonna be honest i didn't do any of that i took about three art classes and i was hoping to take all the stuff that i learned from those classes and incorporate it into my art and hopefully make my art look better and have better composition but i got lazy i didn't even finish classwork yet and also like i said in my last video minecraft Minecraft kind of took over my life, man. But not only Minecraft, I also have Marvel Snap on my phone and then Fallout Shelter. So when I'm not playing Minecraft, I'm playing Fallout Shelter and I'm playing Marvel Snap. And so gaming is just taking over my life. Gaming, mainly Minecraft, but gaming, it's it's ruining me, man. Don't be like me and just do your work or your drawing, your practice, all that before you start gaming. Because when you start gaming, time flies by. Can't keep track of time. You're waking up and it's daytime. You're playing and you're going to sleep and you're like, eh, how's it nighttime already? That's only if you're like a, a procrastinating gamer like me. But if you can just game and set an alarm and you can get off, you're fine. But I can't do that. I'll literally open up Minecraft and like five minutes later it's midnight. I don't know how that works. But anyways, I'm here to ask for help, kinda. I'm just hoping for someone like my artist homies or anybody's an artist or anybody who comments, really anybody who watches these videos. I don't know if I have anybody who watches these videos who doesn't draw, but anybody, please just comment and hold me accountable. I procrastinate like way too much. I can't even comprehend how I procrastinate so much, but I'm thinking if people are commenting and reminding me over and over again, that maybe I'll just, I'll get what I need to get done. I'll get it done. Hopefully, because not only do I have a con in like ugh, two weeks, which is crazy to think about. I haven't had, I haven't gotten no art done. I have a con in two weeks. I have this book commission I've been working on for about a year now and I keep, I finished it, but I want to redo it. So I redid it and then I sat on it for too long and now I'm looking at my old art and it's ugly. So I want to redo it again. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm hoping to have that done in the next month. And to top it all off, on top of all that, something that I should prep a whole year for, I always, every single time it comes around, I prep the whole month and on the last day of submission, I finish on the very last day. And that's my portfolio for the Nick Artist Program. And if you guys know, if you've been following me for a long time, this is gonna be like my sixth time applying for the Nick Artist Program. I apply every single year. I think my first year was 2018. I don't think they did it in 2021. Or I just missed it in 2021. But I did it every single year. And it's been five or six years now. And I don't... I'm looking at my old art and I'm like, yeah, I understand why I didn't get in before. But my art now, I feel like it's... I feel like it's... I feel like I'm capable. But that starts today. That literally opened today. Submissions. And that ends in exactly one month. And I have no new art for that. And that was my goal for the past couple of months. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have this done. And I'm gonna... Do this. Things happen. Procrastination. Life. All that gets in the way. And it makes me mad. But hey, I'm here now. I'm doing it now. I'm staying up all night. I'm drawn. But yeah, every single year, I would honestly get so sad when i didn't get in like i had high hopes i was my cover letter was crazy my resume kind of sucks but i feel like i got better over the years but my cover letter man i was pouring my heart out into the cover letters i was thinking like i was trying to make it catchy in the first sentence and nothing happened nothing snagged them but after talking to like a bunch of people who actually work at nickelodeon which is crazy that i have people who work at nickelodeon as my mutuals now on social media crazy to me uh, I would write them and ask them questions and they're just telling me like the Nick Artist Program is like so hard to get in like it's easier to get an actual job at Nickelodeon than it is to get into the Artist Program and then that made me feel way better but now that's just like it makes me want it way more now that I know that it's so hard and I want that to be like a goal like I need to I need to kill this goal and then once I get it out the way then I'll be happy and I just want I just want the experience and I want like the knowledge and I just need to know how everything works there. I just, I just need to get into the Nick Artist Program. I, I'm probably going to be the oldest dude in the Nick Artist Program. Probably the oldest dude working at Nickelodeon if I ever got a job there. But uh, I'm going to do it. I got to get in. So let me break down my plan for you guys. This plan I've just been sitting on for like two weeks. I should have started when I thought about it. When I wrote it down, I wrote this down. But if procrastination was a person, I'd probably uh, duplex them to a table, maybe. But anyways, here's my plan. I need to create four art prints for my show in four weeks. No, it's in two weeks. What am I saying four weeks? 
for our prints, my ideas, I'm going to create a Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield print, three separate prints. That's my plan because my show's a comic convention. So I was like, oh, comic book art. And then for my fourth print, I either, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I want to do a Marvel versus Capcom print. That's like my, what I really want to do. But if not, I think I want to do a Star Wars Acolyte, the stranger or whatever his name is, a mysterious Sith dude. I want to do a print of him. I think that would be sick because it's the Star Wars Acolyte that's going on right now. Character's pretty popular and I have a dope idea of what I want to do. So I want to do that, but I'm also still working on my commissions and I'm also going to be working on character designs and turnarounds for my portfolio. That, those are like priority to me. So if I don't get the Spider-Man stuff done, it's fine if I don't, but I would really want to. But the portfolio needs to be updated before August 1st. So I'm hoping every year I apply for this thing and I submit my portfolio on the last day. I'm hoping to get it done at least a couple days before the last day. And the only reason why I do it on the last day is because every year I treat it like a deadline as if I was working in the industry and they give you like a deadline. So as soon as they post it on the first, I'm like, okay, I have one month to create a whole new portfolio and I grind for a whole month. And on the very last day I submit it and then I'm just like, there, this is me working a deadline guys. If I made like 10 new characters, 10 turnarounds, and now I'm submitting on the day of which would simulate a deadline i'm thinking i'm hoping i'm pretty sure i could do all this but i might be super burnt out at the end of it but i need a vacation anyway but here's my thought process i stay up all night playing a game until like 5 a.m why can't i stay up all night and draw until 5 a.m hmm? eh, where's the logic i'm not trying to stay up all night drawing and gaming sometimes time just passes me by but I'm thinking if I could just knock out some hours, wake up super early, draw super early, fix my sleep schedule, and then I'll be I'll be good to go. Instead of playing games, I'm going to be drawing. But I don't want to deprive myself from games because then I feel like once I get back on the game, I'll start binging. So I'm going to try to incorporate it somehow. Little break here, but I hate taking breaks. You guys know I hate taking breaks. But if I could just grind this out over the next couple of weeks, I think once I'm done, I might be a little burnt out. I don't know. If I am, I'll take a couple of days off from drawing. But I, you guys know I hate breaks, especially from anything creative. Like if something's creative, I hate like I like sitting there just drawing until something's done. 10 hours. I'm not moving until it's done. That's just what I do. Maybe I won't take a vacation. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how I feel. But I don't want to yap your guys' ear off for too much longer and take up your whole day. But thank you for being here. Thank you for always commenting and keeping me motivated. And thank you for all the love. And I can't wait for you guys to see like what kind of art I produce at the end of this. I'm hoping to reveal it in the next week or two. But after this month-long art binge, I'm going to feel like... Right now, I feel like Trunks. If you guys ever watch Dragon Ball Z, Trunks, before he goes into the hyperbolic time chamber, and then he's in the hyperbolic time chamber, the room of spirit and time, and he's like, just like stressing out. He's like, father. And he's just like tripping. It's like blowing his mind, but then he comes out and he's just like a beast and he has long hair and he's all beautiful and he's strong. That's gonna happen to me in a month. I'm gonna have long hair, I'm gonna be beautiful, and I'm gonna be strong. Anyways, thank you guys. Thank you for being here again. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you for listening to the Monday Yap. I will see you guys next Monday, or you guys will hear me next Monday. Shout out to the Patreons. You guys already know. Thank you for being Patreons. Oh my God. I don't even think I would be even be here without my Patreons. That's so cool. Thank you, Patreons. Uh, this month's Patreon sticker is Snorlax, a Snorlax sticker. So if you want to join, please join. Anyways, have a good one. Peace out. Hope you guys like this Deadpool drawing. It took me like 30 minutes. It was just doing like a little warm up sketch before my commission. Um, also, I don't want to talk about it yet. It's a secret. We'll talk about something next week. All right. Have a good one. Peace out.